Uh, can I give a shout out to my channel? Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, we're rolling right now. Alright, you start. Uh, go ahead and I guess give a shout out to your channel. How's it going, everyone? It's a Rock Up Five Six Zero here, and I'm here with uh, Dragonfly Todd. Also, my uh, channel is just as I said, a Rock Up Five Six Zero. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you can, and um, we're doing this um, podcast right now. So, how's it going, Todd? Uh, it's pretty good. My real name is Austin. You can refer to me as Austin if you want, or Dragonfly Todd. I don't really care. But uh, today, guys, we're gonna be talking about a few different points that you know would make identity better or what he thinks it should be an identity or maybe like we can just talk about how excited we are for this new upcoming mmo so basically first thing i kind of wanted to talk about is the uh, developer announcement problems and you know different things with like how they don't put very many dev vlogs up or they don't really talk in the discord anymore and I guess uh, we are kind of spoiled because they have talked in the Discord so much. And, you know, game developers like Rockstar and such, they don't even have a Discord. Uh, they don't even have that, yeah. And, but uh, they, they, don't, they don't talk at all. So what, what do you think? What do you think? Are we, are we spoiled? I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I think we're kind of spoiled, but spoiled at the same time. I think, I think that they're doing uh, more than enough to uh, make sure we get information and everything. But I mean, I wish they would have showed up, showed us like I guess more screenshots and stuff like that because I feel like they're talking a lot in like their um, Q and A's and podcasts and they always say like, "Oh, this game is gonna be amazing. That's what you're gonna have in the game and everything." But uh, we don't really see anything that's actually like I guess a video or or an image that actually shows us uh, what it is. At least we haven't. Saw, seen something like that for like in the, like the past like six months and then you got the uh like the basic answer for uh, every single question that pertains to identity basically uh development's going well and uh yeah i think that i think that we are in a really good spot so far you know every time i ask something specific or direct they don't really give me a straight answer but that's just me. How about you? I know you talked to the developers uh, a few times. Oh, yeah. I've talked to Marthalian and uh, Motown. Again, they have answered most of my questions. But I guess when I start talking about, you know, uh, release dates and ma no, not necessarily release dates for the module, but release dates like for maybe images or new videos or dev blogs, they usually sometimes ignore me. Sometimes they reply to me. Um, but, you know... I just want to know like when they actually are going to show us stuff and uh yeah i don't think i don't think the developers are bad or anything i'm not trying to apply that but i'm just saying um if they could maybe show us more uh, instead of just talking about what's in the game i'd really i'd really love that yeah uh definitely but i i think that a, a really a really essential part of their development is obviously the crowdfunding and friends of mine left and right that i've you know actually found in this identity server in this like community they're they're backing out and they're refunding left and right because the developers haven't put out the video they haven't put out the module and i get that they have problems and stuff like that but this this i'm thinking that this might why be maybe why they are like you know radio silent because uh they yes. don't want to they don't want to have all this uproar in the community but w when they do that stuff, since they've already, you know, kind of spoiled us a little bit, it creates more of an uproar than whether, it, you know, if they gave us a false release date. And just like No What No Man's Sky did, uh, I was following that game for quite a long time, and they, you know, they, they had a release date set out, and then they ended up delaying it. And as the game wasn't very good to uh, begin with, it was a really hyped up situation, and there's not really much you can do about the hype because there's people like me and uh, Power Gaming and Di Dynasty uh, kind of hyping up the game and talking about all these different features. In reality, there, there might not be even uh, three-fourths of the features that are suggested or talked about in the Q&As that are quote-unquote confirmed. So, um, Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you. Um, the Q&As, I definitely didn't even come. Uh, they're planning on adding that um later on but i mean it's already too late first impressions are key 
Um, about another thing about uh, No Man's Sky is that I think the reason why uh, they actually like started rushing the game in the end is because of Sony. Agreed. Um, and that's a good thing that we don't have that um, I guess platform that actually like pushes on a developer to actually release a game because that could put a lot of pressure on the developer when uh, a platform, a certain platform or a certain company wants uh, a game to really be like finished, even if it's not really polished and should be even released yet. Yeah, it's, I, I agree with that. But then again, like if uh, they, they would just release, I feel like if they just released the Town Square module and you know, it's not going to be perfect obviously whenever they release it because it is a module and it's pre-alpha not even the beta yet and uh basically i'm i just want something to play man i i want something to video on my channel all these different social interactions and of course it's going to be maybe i'd say six hours uh seven hours where you're not bored at all and you're just finding all, all these uh different things that you can actually do but i do feel like the point of the module is for social interaction and recruiting for the uh, different corporations and stuff and also getting a feel of what the game will be like in the role play and you know social aspect and uh, just to kind of branch off on that if they did release it I really feel like people would not care that much and they would be they would be down right then and there as soon as that release button they click it and they they want to download that as soon as it pops up they don't care if you know the, uh, a soda can is just completely whited out because uh, one of the textures is off or something like that but then again I do see the developers actual um, thoughts on how they want to um, you know be a polished game and first impressions and everything in rank. oh yeah yeah I definitely agree but I think um, from what I have heard um, I've heard that the game is pretty polished by now. Right now, it's just kind of like final stuff, special OS, communication, you know, last things, and stuff like that. But um, and I, as as you said, I, I I agree with that. We don't we don't have to have the, like an a hundred percent good game in pre alpha. I mean, look at Star Citizen right now. It's not a perfect game, but it's out, and people still play play it, and people are still waiting and or anticipating new stuff to come out because I mean at least it's something for now yeah until I guess version 3.0 comes out and then everybody's gonna be on it and uh, I've actually heard that the game is playable um, have you heard anything about that or you want to talk about that at all oh yeah I've talked to uh, well, I'm not going to say names here but uh, I have talked to someone who has uh, shown me some uh, screenshots and uh, text messages from someone who is, I guess, um, he is related to the developers. Not going to say how. Um, and he has played the game and he has confirmed that it is um, functional, mostly. Now, I that's what, that's what I've heard. That's what I understood. Don't take this like as this is confirmed. But from what I understand, the game is pretty functional. I mean, I mean, maybe he said that the loading times are pretty, pretty long. Um, but that's the only complaint that I've actually heard about him. So oh, okay. I mean, overall, it sounds like it sounds better than Star Citizen, to be honest. So uh, just kind of start this next branch off. What would be what is your what would be your favorite feature of every feature that was introduced? and talked about in the Q&As and been confirmed. What, what would be your favorite feature out of the game? Definitely the, the corporation aspect. I love making businesses. I love making, you know, more more like, I'm more of the store kind of guy. You know, I'd like, I want to open like my own clothing store, sell different like designs and everything. I want to be like, I don't know, Nike and Adidas and Under Armour and all that shit, but like in identity. I think, I think that would be dope be honest yeah and uh for you what would make the game stand out and be different than all the other uh mmos or life rpgs out there and not just like stuff that they've already confirmed but maybe new things that we can look to in the future and maybe uh you know what they can improve on and you know 
different functionalities and aspects of the game. What what would be your suggestions for identity? Functionality. Um, I hope that they make the game not like I guess Arma. You know how in Arma Three it's really hard to like control the character and everything. Yes. So I really hope they make it uh, a lot easier to use. A lot more. Ooh, I just got a. Sorry, I just got a most uh, message from. Motown right now. I'll read that later. Sorry about that. Um, it's all good. Okay, cut it, cut it back again. Sorry about that. Hey, oh, oh, uh, what does the message say? Is it anything? He ju I just PM'd him like May 20th, and he says, um, some people PM'd me that they've donated $100 and might report this project. Some people actually like said that to me, and he's like, hello, Rod, of course we're still working on identity. I think people need to more, be more patient or not to pledge if they're not ready be patient with us uh we're ready sm really small team blah 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 sorry for the late response just catching up with the point with the private messages i've received that's what he actually responded to me right now okay gotcha gotcha so anyway, right just on the to... podcast go, go back in. uh i might leave that in there actually it yeah kind of cool that he actually finally responded to somebody anyway uh like identity suggestions anything um another suggestion i guess they really should add like they haven't really talked about like i guess like the fishing and like mining stuff i really hope that they don't make that there's like a, if you've played uh gta san andreas or sam or whatever people like to call it rp you'll see that fishing mining Jo like the, all those like weird jobs are like in the main like that's like what's actually going to make you money i really hope in identity that they actually take like a realistic path that let's say like you're a taxi driver then you're gonna make okay money if you're a fisherman depends on your depends how you do depends on what you find if you're like a corporation person and you do well then you're gonna make a lot of money that's what i hope it is i don't i don't i don't want them to have it so like fishing you can make like five thousand dollars every like 30 minutes or in corp corporations you can make like maybe twenty thousand dollars every month or something like that i don't know um i wanted to be yeah oh okay, go, go ahead ahead. go ahead no, I, I... yeah i i just kind of like wanted to be balanced i i guess more realistically and uh at the same time not have like jobs that are like everyone wants to do so like not everyone would want to be a uh, fisherman not everyone would, uh, would want to be a cop not everyone w would want to be a criminal whatever the case may be uh just really wanted to be balanced so i hope they make a system that actually i mean and i guess in the end could actually resolve uh most problems that i guess uh games like that have so a suggestion for me i think that I think it would be really cool. This might be a long shot, but I think it would be cool if we could actually have, like, uh, the player government kind of being able to start construction on different parts of a city. And maybe we could uh, upgrade different parts of the city or house and uh, kind of change the, what the world looks like from where we get it as at release. And uh, maybe it'll be different on different servers, but I feel like they have the kind of the capability to do that now that they are working with the spatial OS. But uh, what do you think about that? A special OS uh, about uh, construction and government construction, like <laughs> constructing and buildings. Or oh yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think that would be really dif difficult, um, especially in the beginning. I think they should. I mean, in my opinion, they should like leave that maybe to the end because I think they should focus on other stuff uh, right now. But that would be a great feature. I definitely agree with you. They should do like this, the roadblocks, all this stuff like that should be managed by the town hall and everything. And it should be on right now. But like upgrading like houses as like uh, exterior, I think that would be a lot of, a lot of work for them. So I'd, I'd love to see that, but I think it'll take a while for that to happen. Yeah, definitely. Uh, anything you got burning on your mind about identity or? Um, you just been really I just I really want to see more stuff. That's the point. You know, I if I could see more stuff, I could give more suggestions. I really hope they actually took take the time to look at this and maybe understand that. Yeah, I do believe it's in development, but but a lot of people don't believe it's in development. 
anymore. Yeah, like, like Some I people, said, like, left and right, like, people are just backing out of this project, and I, th- I think that's, it's really hurtful to them, because they're going pretty much off of just community funding, and Kickstarter, and stuff like that, and YouTubers really just help them out, but if YouTubers don't have anything to, you know, pr- provide content off of, then how, how are they supposed to, you know, crowdfund this game? Exactly. What I think is actually the quicker they release the module, the more they show others and then other people would want to buy it because when they release it right now, everybody knows that it's not, it's, if they say it's pre-alpha and they state that clearly, people are going to know that there's, they're not going to be like mad if there's like a tiny bug, as you said that before, um, with the whatever soda phrase that you said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really think if they could release it even like mid June, that would be amazing. I would definitely try it out, even if it's not the best, you know. As long as it's something I can play and make like not be hungry again, you know. I guess how do I rephrase it? Yeah, that, that's uh, like, good. Not... That's good. You're good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, that is about the time that I'd like this video to end off on. I feel like we've kind of, you know, talked about some stuff and uh, I guess I can do my outro and then you'll do yours. All right, no problem. Okay, so uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, drop a subscribe and a comment down below. Also, go check out my boy, Airred, 55, five, yeah, 55, <laughs> yeah, 55, 500. <laughs> Um, if you heard my dogs in the background, I'm so sorry about that. My family is uh, pretty rough. You know, they bark a lot. Anyway, I love all you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. And Arad, you can see you guys later. Bye. And uh, check out my channel and everything. You know, subscribe, you know, give me that money. <laughs> and identity, come on, release, release Tom Square. Come on, I'm, I'm waiting here, I'm waiting. <laughs>